It is arguably the symbol of help in times of war. The International Committee of the Red Cross has, for the past 160 years, aided tens of millions. But what happens when the needs are too great and the means too few? The ICRC is facing a massive funding gap. To mitigate the damage of the over 440 million euros that's missing from its 2023 budget, the organization decided this spring to scale back. 26 of its 350 offices abroad will close, such as in Mauritania and Malaysia. Worldwide, 1,800 employees will be let go. That's in addition to hundreds of short-term contracts that won't be renewed at the Geneva headquarters. The reasons for such a hole in its nearly 3 billion euro budget are many. First, the sheer number of those in dire need. It's ballooned from 140 million a decade ago to 340 million today. The ICRC is largely financed by countries like the US, Germany and Switzerland. And the war in Ukraine has turned some nations' attention away from other conflicts. Inflation too and the growing domestic needs from it have also cut donations. There's also grumbling that the ICRC's former president, Peter Maurer, mismanaged the budget. Some 250 employees signed an open letter against the cuts, citing mismanagement and a lack of forethought. The ICRC has now asked the Swiss government for help. Since its inception in 1863, it has been, for Bern, a soft power gem, a symbol of Swiss neutrality. But it and foreign funding cannot solve the larger problem that with war, poverty and the climate crisis, the number of those in dire need is growing.